Hello friends, Casey here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about something quite different from my usual content since it's not Zelda related, but still from a franchise I admire very much. Higurashi no Naku Koroni. Or when they cry. Or when cicadas cry. I I, I, don't, I don't really know how the English title works. Anyway, I have been a Higurashi fan for a while now and was quite surprised when they announced the new anime and was even more surprised when it turned out to be, spoiler alert, a new season instead of a remake. Well, I mean, pretty much everybody was surprised by that, so... And when the season was nearing its end, I saw a video on YouTube that someone had made about the opening, I believe what you said, being from Satoko's perspective, and it really made me think about its true meaning. And I think I have gotten it solved, pretty much. So that is what I'm going to be talking about today. But before we go anywhere, this video contains major spoilers for Higurashi no Naku Koroni Go. So if you haven't finished it yet or are planning to watch it, do not watch this video or it will be ruined for you. You have been warned. So now that the officialities are out of the way, let's get it going, shall we? So how I've done this is that I've looked at many different translations of the song to get the best version out of it and also have translated some of them myself cause I can speak Japanese but just putting it out there that they might not be 100% accurate but still I'd like to say that they are accurate enough to get a proper meaning out of them. So the very first lines go Stifling air quietly shaking me a suggestive silence. Which I interpret as when Satoko is being locked in a prison cell in St. Lucia Academy. It is there when Satoko truly starts to realize that entering the school was a mistake. A suggestive silence is when she is alone there with her thoughts and really starts to think and realizes that Rika has truly abandoned her and starts to regret her decisions. The distortions in the light growing more twisted, logic lost to me now. Satoko truly regrets her decisions and doesn't understand why Rika abandoned her to be with her new friends. Saint Lucia Academy can be seen as delight, something new and wonderful, a bright future, but soon it is realized how cruel the school is and how hard it is to be there. And now we come to the main line. I believe what you said. I see just something Satoko has actually said. She believed that it would be fun when Rika pursued her to come with her. She believed when Rika said that she wouldn't leave Satoko alone. But none of those came to be true. A place I long to return to. A distinct scenery. It's really simple. Satoko wanting to go back to Hinamisawa and leave the horrible school altogether. And now we come to the most peculiar line in the whole song. She sneered as she declared she wanted her. This line can be interpreted in many ways, and in each one of them, the meaning changes quite drastically. This line could be talking about one person, but also about two. It is easy to say that there is only one, Satoko. It is clearly seen in the anime itself as well when Satoko says that she will do anything to kill Perika and Hinamizawa. And, well, she was clearly sneering there. But if there were two, Satoko claiming that she wants her, aka Rika, but then Featherine, or Ewa, is the one sneering there, mostly because she is entertained by Satoko's lust, or because Satoko is just playing right into her hands. And cause she knows that this will not end well. But I'm not too clear about that. Simply because I have actually not played Umineko no Naku Koroni. I have seen the anime, but... That basically ends before half of the characters are even introduced, so... 
but I plan to play it someday. Or if they just made the rest of it into anime as well, that would be very, very nice. So long story short, I really don't know much about Featherine, only that she is real shifty from like those random screenshots and whatnot I have seen here and there. But what do you think? Is this line only talking about Satoko or Featherine as well? Let me know in the comments. But no Umineko spoilers. Put a spoiler alert if you do that, just for my information. Thank you. I have always felt your happiness. I have always felt your tears. Satoko and Rika are best friends and have gone through a lot together and have shared their pains and joys, even though Satoko doesn't remember all of it because of the loops. But I guess that has changed now because Shatoko has found out the truth. I was closer to you than anyone else. Now those memories haunt me. Continuing from the previous line, Satoko and Rika were the closest. But then Rika got new friends and Satoko was left all alone and was miserable. And now to the last lines of the first verse. The one and only answer. The door I have been searching for slowly opened just now and on the other side, engulfed in a bright light. Which are really simply interpreted. Basically when Satoko goes to the ritual storehouse and finds Featherine. And then the last line. The true nature. Everything. Basically when Satoko finds about the truth that Rika has been trapped in loops for hundreds of years. Interestingly, she wasn't too shocked about that for some reason. And now to the second verse. A little crack will eventually invite falsehoods. This also has two potential meanings. Either when Rika innocently asked Satoko to come to St. Lucia with her and promises to be with her and help her, which she doesn't do and just abandons her. Or it could also imply Featherine's true motive. Why does she want Satoko to do this? What does she have against Rika? What will she do when Satoko hopefully eventually stops doing this? What does she gain? I haven't played Umineko, but I can surely tell that she isn't doing this just for the sake of being entertained. The madness piles up in layer after layer, an isolated refrain. Satoko starts to get really obsessed and all yandere with keeping Rika and Hinamizawa and can no longer stop, as refrain means to stop oneself from doing something, but Satoko is no longer able to do that. The next line is once again, I believe what you said, which we already went through, but the next one is the only one I've actually had trouble interpreting. When I wake up, it is to a fabricated world. One possible explanation could be that when Rika is once again woken up in a loop, returned to Hinamizawa, she desperately tries to get out and back to the real world, aka the previous world where she got her happy ending and went to Saint Lucia. Or another one could be that when Satoko thinks that the current loop or world is hopeless, she immediately makes her way to the next one and she always thinks that the other worlds are fake. So in a sense, she wakes up to see that the current loop is hopeless and fake, so she moves on to the next one. Maybe a bit far-fetched, but it's something. In silence. The festival has begun. The true Watanagashi. Satoko's festival on trying to get Rika to stay in Hinamizawa. And it is silent since Rika has no idea why and who is responsible for her horrible deaths. 
I wanted to know more about you. I wanted to follow you more. Are most likely Satoko's thoughts on following Riga's dreams and going to Saint Lucia, but we all know how that went. These words have changed along with your strange attitude. Riga promises on not leaving Satoko alone but then abandoning her to be with her new Mean Girls clique and being unnecessary cold towards Satoko. The next ones were also a bit... tricky. If even this white sky is made of paper mache, it would make this pain gradually disappear. As if it was anesthesia, my consciousness drops and every Starts again. As I mentioned earlier, Satoko thinks that all the previous loops are fake and will be forgotten and that the current loop is the one and only that matters. And as the new loop starts, all previous ones do not matter, but we know that not to be true. And now we have reached the end. Since the rest of the lines are the same as in the first chorus, so there is really no point in going through them again. So to summarize, the song is mostly about Satoko's ordeal in St. Lucia Academy and eventually starting to get absolutely obsessed with Rika while a mysterious being has started to make its but speaking of Higurashi, the new season of Higurashi is starting! Actually, I guess it has already started by the time I upload this video. Higurashi no Nagukoro ni Sotsu! Yay! And I'm actually going to be live blogging it on my Tumblr! Yeah, it's kinda cheesy, I know, but I enjoy it. And I'm going to be live blogging it as soon as it airs, so it might be there already. I have also live blogged half of Higurashi Go, so if you are interested to see my reactions on that, some of them are pretty funny, even if I say so myself. So go ahead and see, I'll have a link to the blog on screen right now and in the description below. And while I still have you here, can we talk a little about Keiichi's new design? And how degraded it looks compared to the old one? I mean, just just look at his hair! Oh my god, what did they do to you? Despite some... quite weird clothing choices, his design actually looked good. But... now he just looks super weird with that pissy butt hairstyle and saggy clothes. I don't know... But tell me your thoughts about that. And if you want me to do a full-on rant video about that, make sure to leave a like to let me know. But I will most likely do it anyway, so... So anyway, what are your thoughts about my interpretations? Do you have something different? Or did you not even think about the whole thing? Make sure to tell me in the comments down below. And yes, like I mentioned earlier, this isn't really my usual content, but I haven't really ever specified that I only do Zelda content. And I am also planning to do other stuff than Zelda in the future, of course, along with other Zelda content as well, so make sure to stay tuned for that. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, cause it really helps me out. And if you're still here listening to me ranting about anime hairstyles, you might like my content. So make sure to subscribe to know when I upload next. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a lots of love, bye bye!